Ladies and gentlemen, the Shred Gaming Citicom video, let us discuss graphics and graphic technology, at least according to Naughty Dog, or more specifically, Jonathan Cooper. Now, he's an animator over at Naughty Dog, and I'm sure many of you agree that Naughty Dog as a studio produce pretty damn good looking games, but there are problems with games nowadays. Um, certain things, animations, and parts of a person, specifically the hair, for example, are very, very difficult to render nice looking. And in fact, he said this over a series of tweets. He began, I'm major reason so many last gen characters sported crew cuts was we couldn't really do hair easily. I expected much more higher styles of this generation. He further adds that um, primarily because game engines couldn't support realistic lighting on alpha, uh, as a slight aside, alpha channels, by the way, are like the see-through textures, not to mention physics on longer hair. And he also points out that there are more technologies incoming that will release us from this homogenization of game character design. Um, so, there are a couple of pieces of technology. Tress effects I've discussed from AMD, and that's actually in, say, Tomb Raider. Um, on the PC as well as the uh, definitive editions on the consoles so if you want you could check that out uh, type in Tomb Raider on PS4 for example Tomb Raider PS4 and it'll pop right up if you want a comparison shot or you could also type in Tress FX on the channel and you'll get like a breakdown and a demonstration of how the Tress FX technology works from, from AMD and in a video also doing the same thing they are creating realistic fur and um, several other pieces of technology as well. So all of these are basically utilizing GPU rendering for the most part and game engines typically haven't really been able to do this because it's very costly. Um, even now, uh, if you were to take a look at the performance penalty for example of Tress FX 2.0 on Tomb Raider the, um, the Definitive Edition you can actually definitely see that it does cause a bit of a performance hit even on the next generation consoles. One can definitely tell that Lara's lovely locks were responsible for some of the frame rate dip and obviously you don't really get a choice you can't alter the configuration for example of the game before it loads but you could just take that um, by looking at the PC version and disabling TressFX despite the fact that TressFX 2 which is utilized on the console version as opposed to TressFX 1 which is utilized on the PC version as a despite the fact that yes it actually um, requires less GPU power it's actually less intensive um, the simple reason behind that, by the way, is that they um, implemented some level of detail changes. So basically, some of the hair follicles aren't rendered if you're at certain distances from the camera. And also, it will, I believe, better utilize clipping. So for example, if one strand is blocking another set of strands and that type of thing. So in other words, it won't render, for example, hair that's at the back of the camera. That's another good example. And so, it was basically better tailored towards lower end GPUs but to be honest it's still good on even a high spec PC as well if, especially if you're rendering at like 1440p or something like that um, so game engines are definitely going to be relying on that obviously that's not the only issue um, in terms of animation you've also got for example uh, classic issues in games which I'm sure you'll probably be aware of but really dicey looking jumping animations there that's pretty frequent a lot of games just don't seem to do that well um, infamous second son as much as the game does look beautiful at times it can look really really dodgy with short jumping animations um, you could just see that the character just doesn't balance rights, for example, on games. So th there's all these little different issues that, despite the fact that, yes, we have, you know, ridiculous higher resolution in terms of textures, shadows still aren't quite what they need to be. There also needs to be better image filtering, for example, better levels of um, anti-aliasing. FXAA has issues regarding the fact that fuzziness around the edges, there are other anti uh, anti-aliasing methods, for example TXAA, MSAA, but some of them are quite expensive, for example MSAA obviously using multi-sampling um, and of course a lot of this you could brute force it on a PC because the GPUs are just so damn powerful 
you know, you could use downsampling, for example. Um, even one of the cards that I'm currently reviewing, I'm not, I won't mention what card it is right now, but you could actually downsample, even at 1440p, and considering the cards are actually fairly cheap, I think that's just pretty damn impressive, the fact you can actually downsample from 1440p to like 1080p, and still get like 50 frames a second in most cases, and obviously that does, especially if you combine that then with like cheap uh, AA, for example, FXAA, it could definitely help to eliminate most of the jaggies, but there are all these little different issues, and definitely in my personal opinion, it doesn't look that good with just one hair cut, and of course it also affects female characters as well, because even if they're just, you know, a character that just happens to be walking by on the street, if it doesn't really look good if the hair is just like this solid mass that looks like it's just made out of concrete or looks like they've just got tons of super glue in their hair or something similar. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.